the bell icon to turn on notifications. So our data is now starting to look pretty good. But there are still a couple of final steps that I want to take prior to putting this into a pivot table. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can utilize the find and replace utility. Now, this might be something that you've used before in Excel. It's a fairly popular command. And what it allows you to do is basically find a specific text string or piece of data in your spreadsheet and replace it with something else. So this is great if you need to change a lot of pieces of information in one go. So the example we're going to use here is column B, where we have all of these country names. Now you'll notice that some of these country names, such as this one here, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, is quite a long name. Now you might want to keep this as it is, or you might want to convert it to a shorter version of its name. The reason why you might want to do that will become quite clear when we start creating things like charts. If we have the country listed on an axis, this is quite a lot of text to try and fit beneath the bar of the chart. So it could be beneficial for us going forward to make these names a little bit smaller. So instead of Democratic Republic of the Congo, I might want to replace every instance of that with DRC. The same thing for the United States of America. I might want to find that in my spreadsheet and replace it with USA. So let's do exactly that. Now, if you're just looking for data in one specific column, you can highlight the column before you choose to find and replace. If you're looking for something in the entire data set, you can just click anywhere in the data set and it will look through all of the columns. Now, in this example, I'm just focusing on column B, so I'm going to select it. And what I can do here is either go up to the Home tab, go across to the Editing group and select Find and Select and then Replace. Or a much quicker way of doing this is just to press Control F, keyboard shortcut, and then choose the Replace tab. Now, one thing with this find and replace dialog box is that it holds in it the last find that you did. So you can see here I searched for one, two, three, four, five. So I still have that listed in there. So I'm going to delete that out. All I need to do now is specify what I'm looking for and what I want to replace it with. So I'm going to start out with the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And I want to replace this with DRC. Now let's just expand our options just here. Now notice that I was very careful when I typed in Democratic Republic of the Congo. And I was being quite careful to make sure that I match it to the case that I can see in the spreadsheet. Now I didn't really need to be that careful because if we take a look at my options, you can see here I don't have match case selected. So if I typed in, let's say the word of in lowercase, it would still find what I'm looking for because I'm not being very specific about matching the case. You can also see here that I'm searching within this sheet. I'm searching by rows and I'm also looking for this text contained within formulas. So all I really need to click here is replace all. And you can see here it's made 60 replacements. And if I look at my worksheet in cell B7, you can see that the Democratic Republic of the Congo has now been replaced with DRC. I'm going to do exactly the same for United States of America. And I'm going to change that to USA. Replace all, 58 replacements. And let's do the final one. Now, just to show you how the case doesn't matter, I'm going to type United Kingdom all in capital letters. And I want to replace this with UK. And let's click on replace all. It's made 72 replacements and click on close. So an extremely quick and useful way to find specific items and replace them with something else all in one go. Now, again, it is worth noting if you are a little bit of a formula lover, you can do the same thing using formulas. So let me show you this very quickly. I'm just going to insert a brand new column and let's make sure that we format that as general. If I wanted to do exactly the same thing using a formula, I could use the substitute formula. So if I type in equals and start to type in substitute, you can see as soon as I type sub, it comes up underneath so I can press my tab key. And here I can specify where the text is located 
the old text and then the new text. So my text is going to be located in cell B4, comma, to move on to the next argument. So let's kind of do the reverse of what we've just done. I want to change UK back to United Kingdom. So my old text is UK, comma, my new text is United Kingdom. Close the bracket, hit enter, and let's double click to copy this down. So now wherever we have UK, you can see that that's been replaced with United Kingdom. Now remember, column C now contains formulas that refer to column B. So if you want to utilize this substituted data, you're going to need to do the paste special paste values trick again. Now I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to delete out column C because I'm actually perfectly happy having UK in this column. But that is how you can quickly find and replace data using the dialog box and also using the substitute formula. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.